Okay, it's still heavy. I think. I have no idea what the hell is going on there, but I think it survived. Jesus Christ, what the hell was that? I think it took the crash pretty well. Doesn't seem like there's any damage on it yet. Let's take a look. So as far as I can tell, this one took no damage whatsoever. Uh, I've taken a closer look and there are barely, I mean, there's no damage at all actually. There's no cracks. There's pretty much nothing apart from some dirt. Everything held up really, really well. And we are talking about a fully plastic 3D printed airplane. And usually when they crash, it's pretty much game over. But this one survived. I guess that has to do with the weather. The ground is still wet, so it's pretty soft. And it actually handled the crash really, really well. I have no idea why it's tail heavy. I checked the CG, the marked CG, which is right here. And it was nosy, so I have no idea why that's tail heavy. Uh. Everything seems to be working. Elevator ailerons. Everything is still in one piece. No cracking. And we are back again at the field. But this time we have more nose weight added, which is just a bunch of scrap metal that I found in my garage and I taped it directly to the battery. So this gives it 120 grams of extra weight and hopefully this should stabilize it. And yes, I am aware of the risks involved with taping metal to your battery. Okay, it's still a little bit, just a tiny bit tail heavy, but this time we can comprehend it. All right, I can adjust for the tail heaviness by adjusting my throttle and it's flying stable at 40%. And this is without any trims. I am very satisfied with this model. This thing flies amazing. My roll is a little laggy, I don't know why. It doesn't want to turn left. I'm going to add some trim to the left. Oh yeah, it definitely wants to roll right, needs some trimming. All right, this is looking good. Still, it, it wants to roll to the right. We need more left trim. All right. I think I may have not centered the ailerons perfectly. Doesn't matter. We fixed it now, I think. Okay, that's full left trim now. I will definitely have to take another look at those ailerons. 
but for now I am very satisfied this is so cool catching some wind that's a spin oh no okay we managed to pull out of that I was very slow that was pure pilot error we have some wind it's not a lot of wind but there is definitely some wind all right I think we have been in the air long enough let's try and go for a landing hopefully this thing won't stall and going to a flat spin all right let's give it a shot Okay, that's going to be a go-around. That's a go-around. Okay, left turn, avoid the trees. Fantastic. All right, I have no idea how to land this one. It seems very stable, but also at the same time, it's quite unstable. Let's lead for a landing. This is looking good so far. Gonna cut the throttle. Okay, we are slowing down, slowing down. And it went into a spin last second. As expected. Overall, I am very happy with this airplane. It flies really, really well. I had some trouble with the ailerons, but that one's on me. I didn't center them properly. So I'm going to definitely fix that. Other than that, it has a very unique kind of flight style. As long as you have airspeed, you should have no trouble staying in the air. Also, when it comes to landings, being a warbird, uh, it has some unique characteristics. So you also have to be very careful when trying to land.